I'll take an example from our case in Congo. Uh, seven years ago, was about 12,000 fixed line in the whole country. And the analog line was about uh, 10,000, uh, despite the war uh, uh, ongoing for some time. When I first launched there, uh, nobody could believe that we will succeed or even survive. Uh, today you have 7 million subscribers there. <laughs> so the potential uh, for telecommunication in Africa, which is uh, estimated to be about, uh, I believe, 350 million uh, subscribers uh, to date, uh, I believe that by year 2000, 15, Africa will be close to a billion subscribers, absolutely. The opportunity in the future in Congo is uh, to build the infrastructure. You know, it's a huge country. Uh, you cannot drive from one point to another. Uh, everything is airlift. So the cost is very expensive. And uh, that's what we went through to build uh, uh, the capex, uh, you have to spend a lot of capex today, but the future it will pay off. Uh, the infrastructure, uh, the government, uh, I believe uh, now, uh, as the whole world is focusing to assist the elected government uh, to help build the infrastructures, and uh, it all go together as uh, telecom are doing the railroad and uh, the airlines and so on. Uh, the cost will eventually come down, I believe, in the next five years. Uh, things will be definitely improved uh, moving around the country. The mobile banking uh, is picking up rapidly in Congo. Uh, as you know that we are a huge population where people are not using banking facilities. And most of the transaction ourselves I think 90% is cash payment. You know, we collect millions of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, cash, uh, which uh, in other part like here, everything is banking. <laughs> Payments are done in the banks. Uh, bills were sent to the bank. Automatic debit. We don't have that. It's all paid, and I think. Uh, uh, with uh, internet bank, uh, mobile banking, people start now to open bank accounts. Uh, they start forcing the employees to open a bank account, and uh, gradually it's improving that area. Okay, uh, the internet uh, uh, usage, I think 80% uh, of the internet usage in the continent is here in South Africa, because the rest. Uh, it's mainly the poor infrastructure, or not proper regulatory system, and uh, uh, or, uh, also for lack of understanding the need that the government should be more flexible to make it uh, uh, working with operators so that uh, uh, to internet will be more accessible to the young generations and uh, schools. Uh, WiMAX is the feature for this continent, for sure. Uh, to, uh, we go back again because our place is even more critical, <laughs> you know, <laughs> before taking an example somewhere, <laughs> yourself first. In Congo, as I said, uh, the third biggest country in the continent, no road. A few airports and uh, cost of transportation very expensive. The only area uh, uh, for fixed line, which uh, I believe is the future for Congo and the whole Africa. Uh, eventually, uh, uh, I don't see none of the countries uh, can put cable around the places like that. Uh, uh, it will not work, even they have, uh, we build roads and so on. Um, YMAX uh, will definitely uh, be the key. I believe in YMAX and the 3G in, in, in Africa.